Namaste, and I'm Terry Time. And I want to start this off with a blessing from my hand. Amen. Come on, baby. Amen. Amen. Come on. Put your... Hyena. Hyena. There you go, people. A two-foot blessing. Do you have any predictions, my sweet lady? Trump 2024 is her prediction. And I want to show you my nails first. Look. Mega Trump. Mega Trump. 2024 and hyenas little patriotic paw prints and I'm all up in there for Trump in my nail my nail art technician did these and I'm so excited about them I can't even get in a bad mood but I do have some clips I wasn't hungry so this is working out perfect because I'm not hungry and if I'm not hungry I can't eat but the first thing I want to do, I have lots of clips. The first thing I want to do, though, is respond to pizza. Because as you know, in the video that I played last week or the week before, pizza has named me the queen, the meth queen of Texas. Actually, I'm the head queen of Grand Saline Pizza. Let's not get that mixed up. Head queen of Grand Saline. But I love listening to Pizza's Lives because he comes up with big conspiracy theories. And he's made me into a major a dope slinger from Texas. And I even like the little crew that he put up, Rolex and Joey Dimes. So he ran his mouth and we had a few laughs and it was fun. Ha, 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 ha. Well, he outdid himself, people, folks. He's been going live a lot, and I didn't bother to record it, and my recorders didn't record it, because I listen to, I listen to pizza myself. The rest of them I don't listen to, and unless I get clips or recordings, I don't have a clue what they're saying, but I listen to pizza. So anyway, he's on there doing his live. I can't remember what he was talking about. Probably gun smoke calling him or something. Who knows? But I read his chat, too. I read the chat while I'm in there. And this dragon slayer or dragon fly dragon or whoever the hell it was kept gassing him up. He wasn't even talking about me. He wasn't even mentioning me. And this person, whoever it is, this dragon person kept saying, Well, Terry time this and Terry time that. Well, finally, Pizza looks at his chat and that sets him off. Because these people are gassing him up. That's obvious. They gas him up just like they used to gas Jan up. So he has a new thing now. I'm not only still the queen of meth in Texas. He put a new person on my crew and he got rid of Rolex. Pizza, you cannot do that. You can talk about me and call me a meth queen. He left Joey Dimes in there, but he put Ar he took Rolex out and he put Argo in. And I have never talked to Argo, and I would never get rid of Rolex. And I'm, I've already haven't got paid by Rolex and Joey Dimes, and they said they fronted everything. So we're all waiting on money. And they're gonna and t pizza, you're gonna put somebody in my dope slinging crew that would get high on their own supply. Not gonna do it, pizza. You could talk about my operation, but you're not gonna fire people and hire people. That is left up to the queen. That would be me, not you. And I want to straighten you out on something else you said. You said, oh, yeah, my time's coming. As soon as you get done with the pool stick and FBS and everybody, you're going to send the DEA, the ATF, the FBI to come and swap my property. Well, good luck with that. I didn't get to be 72 years old and never been arrested in my life by being stupid. But you go ahead and do what you want to do. But let me point something out to you, Mr. Pizza, since you seem pretty political and a lot smarter, especially than the bottom feeders. You said the DEA, the ATF, FB, who knows, who all's coming, CIA, probably, everybody, KGB, who the fuck knows. 
But there's one thing I want to make perfectly clear, Pizza, because I think you probably know this. When they invaded Waco with the ATF and the DEA and Janet Reno was in charge and she's gone now, they played Boots Are Made for Walking to try to make them people come out. David Koresh and them, the Branch Davidians. Well, I have a way better idea, and I think you're going to like this pizza, that when they come here to swap me and all the stuff they're going to do, like you said, and we know you have a direct line to the top. Let them play that song, Boots Are Made for Walking, or play some Kid Rock, because you know what they could play to me, or even if they'd have played it in Waco, or even if they'd have went to the Taliban and played it. All they would have to do is play a video of you eating and those people would surrender. You tell all these agents and everybody you're going to call that if they want me to just surrender and throw the white flag up to just make me watch a video of you eating. Other than abusing the dog, that is the most unwatchable thing that I can possibly do is watch you eating with your teeth clicking and clacking, chomp, 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 gulp, gulp, gulp. So pizza, when you call your buddies... And the deep state, tell them to just make me watch a video of you eating and I'll totally surrender. I'll give it all up because songs are not going to work on me. And I would never, never get rid of Rolex for Argo. You can't do that. You could talk about my operation and all the stuff you know because you know everything. But you're not going to hire and fire people. I, I do that. I'm the queen out of your own mouth. I'm the queen, I will hire who I want, and I'll fire who I want. And I would never have Argo in any of my operations. And I already talked about this with Joey and Rolex, and they said it was okay if I mentioned it. So don't play songs. That's not going to work. Just make them... Just Somehow, if they can get me in a room and make my eyes stay open and make me watch you eating for about 30 minutes, believe me, I will give myself up. So that's all I have to say to pizza. But there was somebody gassing him up in the chat, and I'm not saying this in a mean way, because every time he goes live, if I'm there, I will watch him. Because look at all this big conspiracy uncovered. Who would have known that I had... Oh, and pizza, by the way, I do sell my puppies. What kind of a laundering deal would you have if you had puppies and didn't sell them? You're going to have to explain that to me since you know everything because I've not figured that out yet. And now, I was the puppy people were here yesterday and I put a video up of them. And I don't ever have my cell phone or anything out when I have company, ever. So they were here and they brought a puppy they got from me and we had a wonderful visit. And I could hear, I never take my cell phone when I'm visiting with people. And I could hear it going off. I could hear the notifications going off. So when they left, I came in here and my phone was blowed up by my informants. Oh my God, you ought to hear a pool stick. He's sticking up for you. He's going against Minnie Debra Silver. So I've got the clips. Because my wonderful informant sent them to me. And I appreciate pull stick bringing this to my attention but this is exactly the kind of shit she did to me in the first place when i got rid of her she was doing backstabbing but now nanny deborah silva not just i know you're a backstabber everybody knows you're a backstabber fbs what do you have to say about this right hand backstabber going to pull stick to put my information out you filthy rotten backstabbing vile female I have never talked about your family, not one time, and I would never, never, never have even given your real name out because we both know what happened. We both know it. I had been getting, I don't trust people that don't show their face anyway, and I've been talking to this woman every day for over a year. And I would say, send me a picture, you know, if you're going to Florida, send me a picture, send me a picture. No, nope, never sent a picture, not one time. And in the meantime, my other informants who have never backstabbed me, who I trust with my life and with my dog's life, kept telling me, you better watch out for her. She's doing some shit. And I said, well, I got to have proof. I just don't take people's word and say, oh, yeah, she's doing it. I want a proof. 
But in the meantime, I'm going to tell this story of this purse. One more time, and this is the last time I'm going to repeat this story. But just to make it perfectly clear, you would kind of see it as an Indian giver. But you guys don't know the backstory, and I'm about to give it to you. I have puppy people. Pekingese people, we are a tight-knit group. We all have a love for Pekingese. They have sent me wonderful, wonderful gifts through the years. My house is full of mementos and presents and gifts from these Pekingese people. So Siwa, the witch, and if you don't know who she is, check with the bottom feeders. They know her. Had this Gucci purse and was showing it. And everybody was saying it wasn't real and it wasn't real. Well, when they were talking about it, I was thinking, well, I've got a real, genuine Louis Vuitton. I had never even unwrapped it. This lady that had bought three of my puppies that lived in San Antonio that I'd stayed with several times had sent me this Louis Vuitton purse. Well, I'm not a material girl. Sorry, I'm not. I like my snap and my Pekingese and my convicts, and that's it. I don't care about clothes. I don't care about jewelry, purses. None of that shit doesn't mean anything to me. I'll spend money on a gun. I sure will, but not purse. So I, I knew Louis Vuitton. I'm not dumb. I'd heard the name before, but I had no idea what these things were worth. So I get it out. I show everybody, well, the witch has got a Gucci. Look what I got. And many immediately start saying, oh, I've never had a Louis Vuitton. I wish I had one. And the lady that had given me this purse has passed away. And it was sentimental. It was sitting right in the exact spot the day I got it. I hadn't even unwrapped it. It still had the certificate with it and the genuine Louis Vuitton and the gold banner they give with it. And since I've been talking to many for a year, but I'd been having slight doubts, but I wasn't getting any proof, and women like to talk, so I thought, I've got to have proof on this woman. So, I got her real name and her address from her, from you, Deborah Silver, because you had to text it to me so I could send that purse to you. So, I already had your goddamn information. So, I sent her this purse. She got it. She thanked me for it. In the meantime... My informant came through with the proof, and it was much like she tried to have the pull stick do to me. She gave all this backwards information, my recordings on Instagram, to my enemies. And I had the proof that she'd done it. So when she called me, because we talked every morning, she called me. I said, Minnie, I found out what you did. I know who you are. I know what you are. Don't call me again. I'm blocking you off everything. And that was the end of it. I was not going to mention her name again, nothing about the purse. I felt bad about the purse. I'd have rather kept it or give it to a true friend that would have appreciated it for life. Minnie knew that purse was sentimental. She knew it wasn't just something laying around that I wanted to get rid of. So when I had the proof on her, that's what I do. I block people. I don't sit and bitch about them for the next two weeks. I simply block them. I had the proof. She knew I had the proof. And now she's done the same thing again to, with pull stick. So it rocks on. Couple weeks, whatever. And I got a screenshot of her. Over an equally hated dog abusing female. Not the dog killer, but a black dog abuser. And many knew I hated this woman. She had heard the woman tell the same story about kicking that poodle around. She was in there the day she told it. She knew I despised her. So I get a screenshot of wonderful Minnie, Deborah Silver, with a big old, pulled it up on the screen. Terry time can take that purse and stick it in her ass. Now, mind you, I hadn't mentioned the purse. But that set me off. And I said, this bitch wants to play games with me? She already got the purse. She already backstabbed me. She wants to play games now. I'm going to expose her. So I already had her name and address. It only took a couple minutes to get pictures of her house, pictures of her. I knew where she'd worked at a vet clinic. I got pictures of that. And I put them on my Instagram. And I put them on my community tab. And I started calling her Deborah Silver. And I said, I want that purse back. You know that purse was sentimental to me. That woman has passed away. And she would not want a traitor backstabbing vile female like you to have a wonderful purse that she sent me in love well after that i started looking up 
Louis Vuittons online when the meantime common sense offered me three grand for it. So I started looking it up. That purse was worth at least ten thousand dollars. And I thought this bitch has backstabbed me, never showed her face. Took that purse knowing what it meant to me. And it didn't have nothing to do with money. Nothing. It was sentimental. So I gave her address, her name, her picture. And that's it. I've never mentioned her stupid family. Don't know who her family is. I've never put any family member up. Ever. So that's the story of the purse. It was more than just a purse. And if she... She needed to either give it back. Because she's telling lies. She's saying that... She never asked for it, and she didn't know where it was. Now she gave it to a friend. Well, you need to do what Pull Stick said to do. You need to give it back to me. Not go over to somebody's channel that I despise and say, my well, Terry time can shove this purse up her ass because I have that screenshot. I still have it, and you know who we're talking about. You absolutely know who I'm talking about. So that's the story of the purse. And if you want to call it Indian giving or whatever you want to call it, feel free but there was a story behind the purse it wasn't like hey i got this purse who wants it the purse had sat right where it sat from the day i got it on my memory bar where i have all my Pekingese gifts or a lot of them so now i'm gonna play these clips and i was very happy and surprised actually that pull stick was sticking up for me but what's right right and what's wrong wrong and even an enemy can figure that out if they're truthful and everybody that knows me, and I've been on YouTube for 16 or 17 years, I've never posted a kid or a family anywhere. And when he told me, or he said, I'm going to play the clips, that she had sent him all this stuff on me to have him go after me. What's the matter with you, Deborah? Why can't you go after me yourself? I go after people myself. I don't ask people to do anything for me. Not a man, not a woman, not anybody. I handle my business. And this is between you and me. Just like he said, it doesn't involve anybody else. But you and me. And if you can live with having that purse, then I can live without it. But I am going to mention it every single time I'm on here until the day I die. Not you, Deborah. Me. I decide when I get over stuff, and I never get over it. So you're a filthy, backstabbing, vile female, and now everybody knows it. I'm not even going to bother to post the stuff you did to me, because we both know what you did, and we both know who you were riding with. So, Minnie, Deborah Silver, take the purse, and every time you look at it, I hope you have terrible, terrible karma. And I will never forget... I will never forgive, and I have a mind like a steel trap, and I will bring this up every time I go live and put your name, Deborah Silver. Go ahead. What pictures did you send, pool stick of me? Because every picture I have is out there, and I'm not ashamed of them. But the fact that you put my family out there, and I'm not ashamed of them either. And then we're going to get to the I thing. I'm going to play his clip so you can hear it in his own words. He even said... That she had sent him a picture with my eye messed up. Well, I'm going to tell you the story about my eye. And I don't get on here and complain. And I don't like women that complain. And I don't like men that complain. But I want to tell you the story of my eye. It's this eye. When I got tired in the woods. And didn't know if I was going to live or die. Didn't know if that guy was going to come back and get me. Wasn't even really sure why it was done. I mean, I kind of knew. Because I knew I'd been in a club running my mouth about him. I spent, I don't know how many hours tied in them woods to a tree with duct tape. When he finally came back and let me loose, I didn't even ask him nothing. I just walked out of the woods, got in his truck. A couple days later, he said, now maybe you'll learn to keep your mouth shut. And then I kind of figured out what it was. I don't need to go into that. I'm not going to run my mouth twice. Once was enough. So about a week after that, I wake up one morning, and it's like I had a stroke. This whole left side of my face was fucked up. My mouth was hanging down. My eye wouldn't close. So I I went around with it for a couple of days, and then finally the dude that tied me in the woods looked at me, and he said, you had a stroke or something. You're going to the emergency room. So he made me go to the emergency room, and they did one of them MRE, whatever the hell they are. I never go to a doctor. And they said, well, you haven't had a stroke. You've got Bell's palsy. Look it up, people, if you don't know what it is. There's no cure for it. 
There's no treatment for it, but it's caused by stress. A lot of it is, 90% of it. Well, I would say being tied to a tree overnight was pretty damn stressful. So it was bad for about three weeks, and then it started clearing up. But guess what? It still comes back once in a while, and that's why this eye is not quite right. But to think you would do that, Deborah Silver, a mini, 560, is lower than low because it obviously doesn't bother me. I never wear an avatar. I just never talked about it because it sounds like whining to me. And it is what it is, and I deal with it. And if it doesn't bother me, it shouldn't bother anybody else. And the thought that you went over to pull stuff and had him do your dirty work, why didn't you have FB FBS do it? He's your big man now, your big hero. Why are you going to pool stick, having him do it? Him and me both want to know the answer to that, you filthy, vile, backstabbing female. I am not talking about my Bell's palsy again. You can look it up. It was caused by stress, and I've been beat, thrown on the ground with handcuffs, and I've never had that come up on me till I got tied in the woods. And I'm not going to talk about it anymore. If it doesn't bother me, it surely shouldn't bother any of you. I'd be wearing an avatar and have a beautiful patch on my eye with Trump 2024. So none of you would have to look at my eye. Now we're going to hear the clips. And like I said, my puppy people were here and I could hear my phone. I had my phone in the bedroom and I could hear me getting all these clips, these ding, ding, dings. And I said, what in the world's going on? Well, here it was. Nobody knew. A lot of people, my trusty people knew, but some people didn't know who Minnie was or what he was talking about. Well, I just cleared all that up with everybody. And you know I've never showed your stupid ass family. And I do know some other stuff about you, and if you keep fucking with me, I am going to put it out there. Have I ever disrespected you, Minnie? The only one you gave me a hold, you wanted me to go after Dolly Parton? I'm going to say it, Minnie. What is it? What's her name? Minnie 560? I got to say it. Say it. You trying to say I blew people off, Manny? Have I ever disrespected you, Manny? Do you want me to, you want me to tell Dolly Parton that you were the one who gave me a hold? You wanted me to go after Dolly Parton? I'm going to say it, Manny. What is her, what's her name? Manny 560? I got to say it. Say it. You trying to say I blew people off, Manny? Have I ever disrespected you? Listen to him, Manny. Why did you even go to him? Why don't you go to your hero, Gunsmoke or FBS, and let them do it? What were you trying to make trouble between me and him? I like fighting with him. I have a good time. And I've never talked about his family either, so don't you dare, don't you dare without proof to ever say I've talked about a family, including yours. I never have. So this is what I was getting all the clips about was pull stick going off on a rant about many. And I'm very thankful that he did because I had no idea. I knew she was capable of this because this is what she did to me when I got mad at her. I'm going to say it, Minnie. What's her, what's her name? Minnie 560? I got to say it. Say it. Minnie, you wanted me to go after Dolly Parton. Right? Didn't you want me to go after Dolly Parton from Texas? And you sent me a whole bunch of pictures of her and her family? I'm going to say it, Minnie. What's her, what's her name? Minnie 560? I gotta say it. Say it. you wanted me to go after Dolly Parton. Right? Didn't you want me to go after Dolly Parton from Texas? And you sent me a whole bunch of pictures of her and her family? Wow, the truth hurts. Don't it, Deborah Silver? The truth hurts. Thankfully, some people still have some honor, whether they're fighting with you or not, to do the right thing. Thankfully, but that's not you. Uh, Deborah, and you watch FBS, you'll be next because she's done it to everybody she's ever dealt with. Everybody. Yeah, hey, a whole bunch of pictures of her and her family. Her family? Yeah, I got it right here. I'll send them to you, Jules. Oh, my. Her ex, her ex husband, yeah, that Dolly, Miss Dolly Parton. Many wanted me to go after you like there was no tomorrow. And she got upset because I didn't. Send me a whole bunch of pictures of her and her family. Her family? Yeah, I got it. For one thing, my ex husband.
husbands are all on my community tab, and so is their names. So you probably got the pictures right off my community tab. I'm not ashamed of my pictures. I'm not ashamed of my family. But I'm ashamed for being a fool to ever think you were anything. And you know something else? A mini Deborah Silver. I can't stay in Scamber. I haven't talked to her in three years. Well, she got merged on a call with me behind my back. So we're on there yapping. And she said, and your name come up, and she said, Terry, I'm going to tell you something. You better not trust that Mini 560, because she's a backstabbing traitor. And that, if that was one thing that Scamber ever said that I should have listened to, it was that. Because she was the first person to give me a heads up on you. And then the rest of the people were people I'm friends with, but they could never show me the proof. And when they finally did, I got rid of you. And if you'd have just kept your mouth shut, the purse would have never came up. But when you went over into a dog abuser, a known dog abuser, because you heard her tell the story yourself, and put it, Terry Time can shove that purse up her ass, and I'm going to find the screenshot, and I'm going to post it. That was it. If you felt that way about that purse, knowing what it meant to me, and it didn't have a thing to do with money, you saw my Pekingese people. I posted a video. I love all of them. We are a tight nip, unbreakable group of people that love Pekingese. That's why we're together, because of the love of the Pekingese. And you took that purse without blinking an eye. No one, you were stabbing me in the back. No one that that woman had passed away. Thank Thank you, pull stick. If we never speak, thank you so much for this. Because now not only I know what she is, now everybody that watches your videos are going to know exactly what she is. Allie, pardon? Manny wanted me to go after you like, like there was no tomorrow. And she got upset because I didn't do it. Why don't you tell, why don't you tell FBS to do it? Exactly. Not me. So you're upset about that? Manny, five, six? Wow. You want to, Dolly, pardon? Manny wanted me to go after you like, like there was no tomorrow. And she got upset because I didn't do it. Why don't you tell, why don't you tell FBS to do it? Manny, not me. So you're upset about that? Manny, five, six? Wow. You want to call me slow? Even the bee is sticking up for me. Even the bee. Because they know, the bottom feeders know, I've never posted a family. Never talked about a family. I wouldn't, I still haven't talked about any of many's, and I wouldn't even have mentioned the purse if she wouldn't have wrote that filthy text in that dog abuser's chat that I still have the picture of. I got that picture of, of, you know, with you with the eyes. She sent it to me. She sent me a whole bunch of pictures here. I, and, and every time you want to reach out to me, and I have to send you all the pictures that Minnie sent to me about you and your family. I got it. I got that picture of, of you know, with you with the eyes. She sent it to me. She sent me a whole bunch of pictures here. I, and, and every time you want to reach out to me, and I have to send you all the pictures that Minnie sent to me about you and so you sent him pictures about my eye? You dyke-looking, filthy, vile female. About my eye, and I just explained it to you, and I'm not going to talk about it again. It's Bell's palsy. Look it up. I'm sure none of you have been tied in the woods overnight and would come out of it without any kind of stress. But the thought. What, what did you think you were going to do by going to him? Did you think he was just going to do what you said and put all these pictures the pictures you must have got off of me because i post hundreds and hundreds of pictures and i'm not ashamed of any of them but why my family is it because you don't have a family deborah you've never had any children you've never been married and you're lonely and all you got is a little papillon i feel sorry for that dog being with you being with a vile creature like you thank you pull stick Thank you, my informants, for sending me all these clips because I probably would have never seen it without you. Answer some of his questions, uh, many. You want to reach out to me and I have to send you all the pictures that many sent to me about you and your family. I got them. I'll send them to you. 
Yeah, Minnie's got quite a lot to say, it appears, lately. Yo, bro, hey, listen, I'm going to tell you something right now, Jules. If you give me something, and you want to reach out to me, and I can send you all the pictures that Minnie sent to me about you and your family. I got them. I'll send them to you. Yeah, Minnie's got quite a lot to say, it appears, lately. Yo, bro, hey, listen, I'm going to tell you something right now, Jules. If you give me something... Minnie might have a lot to say, but she needs to check herself before this gets out of hand. Minnie. I'm not saying this will happen. Let's say you give me a purse. And one day you say, Tony, I want my fucking purse back. I'm going to say, all right, man. Isn't that a name? Isn't that a name for that Indian giver? It's very racial. <laughs> That's a racial slur. <laughs> but listen, I'm going to say, oh, Jules, you're an Indian giver. I'm not saying this will happen. Let's say you give me a purse. And one day you say, Tony, I want my fucking purse back. I'm going to say, all right, man. Isn't that a name? Isn't that a name for that Indian giver? It's very racial. <laughs> That's a racial slur. <laughs> but listen, I'm going to say, oh, Jules, you're an Indian giver. I'm not saying this would happen. Let's say you give me a purse. And one day you say, Tony, I want my fucking purse back. I'm going to say, all right, man. The Indian giver part is true, but I just explained the whole purse story. It didn't have nothing to do with Indian giving. It has to do with that purse being a sentimental value to me. And after what she was doing to me, if I'd have listened to my informants without proof, I'd have never sent her the purse in the first place. Answer him, Minnie. He's asking some very good questions. Very good questions. I'd like to hear myself why you did all that. I've never done it to you. I've never done it to anybody. Never. And you exposed yourself to me because you were so greedy and you wanted that purse so bad you knew I couldn't mail it to you without your address and your real name. And once I had that, it was not hard to find out everything else about you. And I still only posted your picture, never mentioned your job, even though you'd lost it. You'd gotten fired. I never mentioned any of that. I don't even know who your family is or if you even have a stupid family. So he's answer he's asking some good questions, but that's your MO, Minnie. That's what you do. That's what you do to everybody. You wanna show your face? Your face is out there now, and I'll make sure and make sure everybody sees it because you're a manly looking female. I'm gonna put it that way, because we got a lot of pronoun people around. Somebody gives me something as a gift, and they tell me to give it back to them, a gift, like a purse or some shit like that, Manny, I'll, I'll send it right back to them. She can't send it back to me because she sold it, probably, for the money. Hey, shut up your ass, whatever. You, but you, what you do, you sold it? I, I gotta agree with that. Although me and Dolly partner are in good terms or anything like that. Remember, she was she was there with Tony Pita and Johnny Mag. What can I say? Take it. Shove it up your ass. Whatever. You, but you, what you do? You sold it? But I, I gotta agree with that. Although me and Dolly partner are in good terms or anything like that. Remember, she was she was there with Tony Pita and Johnny Mag. What can I say? Maybe one day she'll see the light. Maybe one day Dolly partner will. Pizza is history. Pull stick. I just watch him because I think he's entertaining. Mac and I haven't spoke for two weeks now, probably. And I never will again. So I saw the light. Hey, I remember she was she was there with Tony Pizza and Johnny Mac. What can I say? Maybe one day she'll see the light. Maybe one day Dolly Parton will, will, you know, one day look at that. Maybe Hyena might tell her one day, these people are scumbags. back. And you never know. <laughs> I'm wait. I'm wait. I remember she was she was there with Tony Pita and Johnny Mag. What can I say? Maybe one day she'll see the light. Maybe one day Dolly Park. Hyena did tell me, but I didn't listen to her. I didn't listen to my informants either. Lesson learned. I'm wait. I'm wait. Miss Dolly Park. I'm waiting for the day the hyena sees the future and tells you, Miss Dolly Parton, Master, these people are scumbags. The good, the, 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 the good people are so flow. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, Miss Dolly Part, I'm waiting for the day the hyena sees the future and tells you. She was telling me the whole time, but I just wouldn't listen to her. I'm waiting for the hyena to tell you that one day. And remember, Dolly Parton, she wanted me to go after you hard. Just because you were saying a couple of things about her. And now you want to call me 
it's slow blow, it's slow flop. I'm waiting for Hyena to tell you that one day. Cause, and remember, Dolly Parton, she wanted me to go after you hard. Manny, Just because why can't you go after people yourself? Why do you have to run and get help? I never run to nobody for help. I handle it right here on my show with no avatar, with my gonky eye. I do not care. I say what I say. And everybody knows I've never done the filthy things these other women have done. But you go run to somebody behind the scenes and think it's not going to get out? Minnie, let me tell you something. There's a recorder and a snitch in every group of people, and you pick the wrong one. You pick the wrong one, Deborah Silver. You pick the wrong one to go run to. I like that. And getting together with Tony Pizza shit and shit like that. Why don't you tell FPS to go after Dolly Parton? Right. Not me. So you're going to get upset because I didn't go after her? Why should I go after Miss Dolly Parton? That's between you and her. Exactly. I like that. And getting together with Tony Pizza shit and shit like that. Why don't you tell FBS to go after Dolly Parton? Yes, yeah, between you and me, Minnie. Why are you involving other people in our personal problems? Because you're spineless. You're a backstabber. You're a traitor. Nobody had seen your face ever until I found you. And I know why they didn't. Because I'm not even going to go into it because of the pronoun people. But we both know what I'm between talking you about. Give me, the, give me the fucking purse already. <laughs> what the right. fuck would you do you sold it get a fucking job <laughs> I, yeah. it's going to be this is me. not the first time that um ter- uh, between you and her give me the give me the fucking purse already <laughs> what the fuck would you do you sold it get a fucking job <laughs> that's what i'd like to do because if she didn't sell it if she gave it to somebody that's her story she needs to get it back from them This is not the first time that um ter- um that that many did this. Like many flipped on me once before too, and and now I'm like, okay, well, I was kind of an asshole, apologized, and blah 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 blah, and then there she goes again. No, no. It's going to be- this is not the first time that um ter- um that that many did this. This is another reason because when I'm through with somebody, I'm through with them, and there won't be no second chance ever. The only person I've ever given chance after chance after chance is Jen Bailey. And I still will to this day because I know she gets manipulated and used much like people use pizza. But he's such a hard person to find any good qualities about. All the women used Jen, all of them, but I never did. And I always cared about her and I always will. I am Hyena's cousin, and I say that Dolly Parton, you're going to welcome Pull Stick back into your life. Yes, <laughs> Hyena's cousin says so. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a yeah, <laughs> That doesn't even make me mad, because at least they're not talking bad about Hyena. Why would Mimi want me to attack Dolly Parton? What has she ever said about me, bro? What, did I'm a pool stick? <laughs> did I'm a woman beater? I don't see her going after Tina. <laughs> you can say anything about Dolly Parton. Has she mentioned Tina? Why would Mimi want me to attack Dolly Parton? What has she ever said about me, bro? What, did I'm a pool stick? <laughs> did I'm a woman beater? I don't see her going after Tina. <laughs> you can say anything about Dolly Parton. Has she mentioned Tina? Never. Why would Mimi want me to never? Dolly Just like I've never me, mentioned though. any family members, unless they're running their mouth or getting involved in it, I'm not going to bring up family members. <laughs> you can say anything about Dolly Parton. Has she mentioned Tina? Has Dolly Parton mentioned Tina? No. No, she never has. No, and she doesn't do that. Terry, Terry is very, no, very adamant why, that she doesn't why, mess with family like that. Why would pictures of of, of <laughs> you can say anything about Dolly Parton. Has she mentioned Tina? Has Dolly Parton mentioned Tina? 
No. No, she never has. No, and she doesn't do that. Terry Terry is very, no, very no, adamant no, that she doesn't no, mess no, with families no, like that. Pictures of, of, of Dolly Parton from Texas and, and her family. You actually sent pictures of my family. And you really thought that'd bother me because I have a beautiful, wonderful family, unlike you. Did say anything about Dolly Parton? Has she mentioned Tina? Has Dolly Parton mentioned Tina? No. No, she never has. No, and she doesn't do that. Terry Terry is very, very no, adamant that she doesn't no, mess with family. Tina. Very, very no, adamant that she doesn't mess with family no, like that. Pictures. Of, of, of Dolly Parton from Texas and, and her family. Why would she do that? <laughs> that means that Minnie, you're that type of person. You're the type of person who should actually attack people's families. And that's why... It's very, you know, very adamant that she doesn't mess with family you know, like that. Pictures of, of, of Dolly you absolutely are that type of person, Minnie. No wonder you never showed yourself. You never do nothing on your own. You sneak around and behind and do stuff. You're the one that blocked everybody in the bees chat i didn't i got accused of it but i didn't do it you did that and you blocked people in my chat too because my dear friends were saying terry we can't comment on your video so finally i got in there and looked and it was when Minnie was a mod and she had 20 people blocked 20 because that's the kind of games this vile female or whatever pronoun does this is her mo anybody that deals with her get ready that's exactly what she does. I'm upset. I don't mind Dolly Parton, my, my brother. She's working nine to five with Jolie. I went looking for her over there at the Dolly World. I did. I was like, where's Dolly Parton? Is she still in Texas? I'm looking for the lady. Everybody wanted to get her to sign my autograph, my Ena, sign the paper. Be awesome, bro. I'm upset. I don't mind Dolly Parton, my, my brother. She's working nine to five with Jolie. I went looking for her. I wish I was at Dolly Land. I think that's the last one. Yep, that's the last one. Thank you, Pull Stick. Thank you so much because I don't watch people, and if I wouldn't have got my wonderful informants to send me I those clips. Dolly Parton, my, my brother. She's working nine to five with that's the last one. That's the last clip. There, Thank you, Pull Stick. I really don't need the pictures and stuff because I'm sure that everything she got, she got it off my community page or my Instagram because I post endless pictures of me and my family. And if my eye bothers you, I'm so sad. Sorry about your bad luck. I'm not wearing an avatar. Just deal with my eye. I guess the only person that bothered was Deborah Silver. But you see how things come out? You see how things come out, you backstabbing traitor? I didn't even say what you did to me. I just said you was a backstabber. I didn't even go into the personal details. But you even went behind FBS's back and reached out to the pool stick. Now, how are you going to explain that? And they're all getting caught on phone call calls. Pizza's playing phone calls of them. I have moved on, folks. I talk to Rolex and Joey Dimes, and I have been hanging with the Trump people the Durkee people, my Pekingese people, and that's where I've been hanging. So I'm not really up to date on the mob tube stuff. There's uh, things going on in the country that I'm more concerned with. Trump, 2024. Look at these beautiful nails. Mega. Trump, 2024. Patriotic hyena. So... Thank you, Pull Stick. I appreciate it. The truth is always appreciated, and it should always be appreciated, no matter who it comes from. That's why I listen to pizza, because every now and then, and all these conspiracy theories and stuff that he throws out there and people gassing him up, you will get the truth if you listen. Hi, right, come on. Tell Pull Stick thank you. Look him in the eye. Look. Honey, look in the cam. Honey, say, we appreciate that pull stick. Appreciate it. And her prediction is, everybody beware of Minnie Deborah Silver, because she's capable of doing this to any 
buddy she knows. But at least I have what she looks like, like out there. Finally, after years, somebody knows what she looks like. And she looks just like what she is, a backstabbing, vile female. And if my eyes bother you, I'm so sad. But it is what it is. Deal with it. I have to. Anyway, ciao, everybody. I'm going to do a food review. And Joey and Rolex, pizza cannot fire you from my dope slinging ring. He can. I'm the only one that can do that. And I don't want Argo in it. I want Rolex and Joey Dimes. And I want my money, guys. If you fronted somebody the product, then you still need to worry about getting me my money. Before the DEA and the ATF and the FBI and the CAI show up and they show me a video of pizza eating food. And then I'm going to have to give everybody up and roll over on everybody because I cannot tolerate seeing that video or even hearing it. So that's my Tuesday with Terry time. I hope I got everything cleared up about everything. Thank you, Pull Stick. Uh, thank you, B, for being truthful. You both came through with the truth, whatever our differences were. I always appreciate the truth from anybody. So, have a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Ciao. My informants, you are the best. The best there is. Simply the best. <laughs>